Hey guys, this is Virgil here. Um, today, um, I actually went out and purchased an LCD TV and I, I just hooked it up to my laptop, which is really cool. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this from start to finish. Uh, I had one big issue, but it was uh, pretty much uh, fixed in a matter of a few minutes because uh, I just, uh, I don't know, I guess I wasn't totally awake, I don't know, but I'll show you guys uh, what I had to do to get around that. Anyways, uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to hook up this uh, a laptop or a PC to your um, LCD HD TV. Let me show you first of all. Let, let me show you the uh, LCD TV that I actually have. Uh, let's see here. I have this one here. It's a Sony 32 inch 720p. So this is more the bottom of the line. Uh, it's only 400 bucks at Walmart. I'm going to show you how how to hook this up using um, an HDMI which is perfect because just with this simple HDMI cord you can have uh, video and sound coming directly from the LCD TV and I'm also going to show you how to hook up uh, using a VGA well I'm not going to show you I'm just going to tell you because uh, I don't have a VGA cord but if you, if you want to uh, hook it up with a VGA cord what you need is you, you need to buy something like this here and you can see the VGA here it's they're both male ends you can see here if you if if you look at the cord behind your uh, your, your regular computer to your uh, your monitor, it's going to be one's going to be a male end, the other one's going to be a female end. But uh, another thing is, of course, if you want to hook it up through VGA or HDMI, you have to make sure you have the uh, the actual uh, connector in the back of the LCD TV. So let me show you behind this LCD TV, and you can see here. Um, Okay, so uh, let's see here. So you have, um, here is the VGA adapter. You guys can see this right here. And you can say you need a male end to plug in there as well as on the laptop. You need the male end too. Now here is the uh, HDMI. This is the HDMI cable. Uh, both ends look exactly the same. And you can see I have, it plugs in here into my laptop to uh, right here but you can see I have several HDMI ports on here actually I have uh, looks like I have three of them it'll work on any of these there's one there one there and there's one up there as well so I'm gonna go start to finish I'm gonna start off with the uh, HDMI cable first thing you want to do is uh, plug in your uh, HDMI cable into uh, your LCD TV and your laptop Okay, so I got the HD, um, HDMI or H, HDMI cable hooked up my LCD. Now I'm going to put it into my laptop here. Okay, once that's plugged in, and you can see I got the uh, cable going now. This is what you want to do now. You want to grab the uh, remote to the television, and uh, you want to push input, okay? Let's see, input. Uh, don't push menu, push input, okay? So I'm going to click on uh, input here. And then you can see, oh, wow, look at that. The HDMI 4 is uh, highlighted there. So I'm just going to scroll down. I'm going to put OK. Okay, perfect. Now, the thing is, uh, you can see the, the uh, it, it's already connected to my uh, my laptop and the LCD it's already on here um, actually what you need to do though this uh, your your screen from your uh, your computer or your laptop is not going to show up right away what you have to do is you have to go into your properties here here let me uh, let me show you how to do that what you want to do is Right click on your desktop, go to personalize, and you want to go to, and by the way, this is Windows 7, and then you want to go to uh, display, which is right here, and then I want to click on change display settings, right there, 
And then what you have to do from here is, uh, remember now, where it says multiple displays, you have to extend these displays, okay? Uh, default, if you don't put on extend these, these, uh, extend these displays, the default will be on uh, like show on desktop, and it would be something like this. It'll just be a black, blank screen. So again, what you have to do, I'm going to keep the changes here. Go back, go back to uh, change display settings. And I'm going to extend these displays. I'm going to extend it. I'm going to click on OK. And there we go. And then let me bring this platform back here. And then look at that. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to... Okay, so now it's pretty much working perfect. You can kind of see... Kind of see that. Now, the only thing is, uh, when I first tried to hook this up, I had a, there was a no signal. And the reason for that was, and it took me like 15 minutes to figure out what was going on. It was actually this HDMI cord here. It wasn't pushed all the way in, so I had to really give it a little bit of thrust. It, I, 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 heard a little, I heard a little snap, went in, and everything's like perfect. Now, also, let me show you with this HDMI cable, too, is how to uh, put the sound um, you can have the, the, of course, the default, you're going to have the sound coming directly from your laptop or your computer. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do this, how to make it, uh, the sound actually come out from the TV itself. Okay, so the sound right now is actually coming directly from my laptop. And here, I, I'm going to show you this too. Check this out. Watching this YouTube video on here, I mean, this is, this is awesome. I mean... Perfect, perfect. Anyways, let me show you how to get the sound from the uh, laptop that goes directly from the TV. What you want to do is you want to go back into that uh, display, or I'm sorry, you want to go into, you want to right click on your desktop, or I'm sorry, actually you want to go into the audio. So what you want to do is go into your control panel. Uh, we'll go to hardware and sound. Uh, we'll click on sound. And then this window here will pop up. And you can see there's a, I have two of these options here. One speaker is coming from my laptop, which is a real tech. And here is the HDMI. And how you want to change is you just highlight, highlight the HDMI one. And then I'm going to push on set as default. Ready? There you go. Now, the sound is coming directly. The Ben Bunag prints money for free. Yes. From the TV. So it's uh, pretty easy. Do this. Remember, if there's no signal, try to push in the, uh, the HDMI cable in a little bit further, and uh, you should be good to go from there. Um, all right. I'm going to end it from here, guys. Thanks.